Hello and welcome to the Cloud Foundry Spring Source STS Getting Started. We're going to first go ahead and install the plugin to connect to Cloud Foundry in STS. So we'll go to Help, Install Software. We're going to paste this path. Uh, the path will be available in the common repository soon, but for now uh, we're getting it from the nightlies. Go ahead and click Next. Next again. Accept the license agreement. I'm going to select Finish. And we'll wait for our software to install. This should just take a few seconds. We're going to go ahead and accept the security warning. and restart. Okay, so we've installed the actual plugin. Now we're going to go ahead and set things up for us to do a deployment. First thing we'll do is go to new and server. We're going to pick VMware Cloud Foundry. We're going to go ahead and put in our credentials. Now the credentials will be what you registered at cloudfoundry.com with. These credentials are uh, the exact ones that you got approved with and the URL that I've selected is for cloudfoundry.com. In the future we'll explain some of the other URLs and how to use them. We're going to go ahead and validate the account. So you'll notice at the top we have account information is valid going to go ahead and click finish. And so you'll notice over here we now have VMware Cloud Foundry as a server option. The next thing we're going to do is create a project to deploy on Cloud Foundry. We're going to do a spring MVC project. We're going to give the project a name and we're going to give the top level package So we're going to click finish. Okay, so we've got our package and we're going to go ahead and wait for our workspace to finish building. We're going to drag our package down over onto the Cloud Foundry. You'll see that it says started. We're going to do the drop down and you'll see that Hello Cloud is there. It's not deployed. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on Hello Cloud. We're going to click start and we're just going to go ahead and click finish and in a couple of seconds we'll see that the status is going to change from uh, synchronized to started and it is so now we have a started so we're going to go ahead and fire up a browser we're going to go to hello cloud cloudfoundry.com and there's our hello world that's all there is to deploying an app on cloudfoundry.com through the Spring Source tool suite. Thank you.